the Trump administration is stripping citizenship from natural born U.S. citizens of Latin descent without really any meaningful due process and is trying to implement a Muslim ban despite religious freedom being a supposed value of our country. I posted about this and got into an argument with a bunch of Trump voters on my Twitter and decided to make a vlog about immigration. This is just going to be a little short rant in front of a camera. One person said, immigration law isn't racist. When has America ever had a racist immigration law? We've always had immigration laws. You just want anarchy to flood the streets. You know, cue imagery of, you know, a horde of black and brown, you know, bodies flowing across the border. The thing is, it's very hard to take someone like that seriously when I point out that the first immigration law was a bill called the Chinese Exclusion Act. It was the first immigration law and it passed in 1882, more than a century since the founding of the United States. Google Operation Wetback. They literally called it that. After World War II, the U.S. deported Latin American U.S. citizens, in some cases, had begun doing it again under the Trump administration. In immigration court, there is no presumption of innocence. There is no right to an attorney. Judges have a rocket docket where cases last only 30 seconds because of the sheer volume of them. Families are being torn apart by the paranoia that led Trump to call Mexicans rapists and drug smugglers, but Trump being Trump, some of them are good people. So yes, immigration laws are racist-ass bullshit. People who support immigration laws are racist-ass people. It's my right to have this opinion. That's just like your opinion, man. It doesn't work when Trump's actions have material consequences that have de devastated the refugee, migrant, and Muslim community and have put the rights of trans people and pregnant people at risk. Just a difference of opinion is how you settle arguments about Xbox One and PS4. A friend of mine who took me in when I was homeless after Rounder's budget severely reduced available domestic violence shelters, was targeted by immigration at one of those whiteness checkpoints they have in the Southwest. She had been in detention for months. As for, they're taking your jobs, she founded a suicide hotline for other trans women. She had a right to be in this country, as her wife was a natural-born U.S. citizen. But of course, the process isn't just that easy. As a former educator, I've seen kids with good grades turn into depressed and bitter delinquents when their mom and dad get dragged away in the night by jackbooted thugs of ice. I've seen experienced, I've seen and experienced poverty because of neoliberalism. You don't know what it's like. Fuck you and fuck Donald Trump too. The truth is all over the news every goddamn day and on the streets of the city I live in and love. Trump voters are too ignorant to read credible news sources that contradict the fascist worldview of their far white president. I will likely never forgive the people who voted for Trump. I look down on them. Y'all motherfuckers are a cancer. I don't respect you people. You're an embarrassment. You take willful ignorance as an identity and I look down on you. The whole UN laughed at Trump. I hate Trump voters more than I hate Trump because Trump voters could very easily not be Trump voters. It costs zero dollars not to be an asshole.